indescribable sounds. I'm not even going to ask what you're doing with the door, but what's on the other side? <coughs> a monkey who swallowed a wardrobe. A troll. Oh, wow. The troll's guarding the dungeon. <laughs> He's got a key. Okay. We need that. You have to think of something. <laughs> well, we did. Look, we brought you a ball. <laughs> yes, boom indeed. Oh, can't pick it up still. <laughs> <laughs> I can't under. Well, if you say. How on earth can Nate understand you? Or does he just pretend? You've got a plan. You want no. something to eat? Yes. Maybe. You're cold? Talking to a baby. Timmy's fallen into the well. <laughs> or a dog. It's never going to work like this. Sure will. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, dookie. Hey, look. Look what I got, Evo. <laughs> what the fuck? You want to give Part me something? Language, but I'm really I can't confused. do anything with that as long as I'm hanging here. But I'll help you as soon as I'm free. You want to give me something? I can't do anything. Hey, you're the one that left. So he sees that. No. So can we just hit him with the bar? Because, you know, that that's probably going to be a great idea. Still can't take the hammer, probably. Alright, now that we have the bar, let's go up here. Can we do anything? Wouldn't slide into the liquid. Okay. <laughs> Indeed. Did we? <laughs> that wasn't very useful. Come on, critter. Nice that they don't. What is she looking at anyway? She's just chilling. Big boss lady. Mama bear. Okay, how about this? Light the torch. Indeed. Don't need it. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a great idea. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's maybe run away. <laughs> Buddy, your trousers are on fire. Okay, sure, why not? 
What did you leave behind? Key? Awesome. Cheap, cheap, you're useless, by the way, bud. Thank you, at last. Yeah, that kind of takes a lot of strength there. It's kind of impressive. That's sorted at last. And now you don't need to do all the work on your own anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's switch over. Actually, I wonder... Uh... Crit man... Give her the items, probably. Thanks. Thanks. I don't know. You're the one that lets me do it. Maybe I will do it. Because you know it makes so much more sense if she did it. Oh. No, oh, I missed a special one. Okay. I'm now can we put the torch? Yeah, so she's perfectly fine with fastening a rubber chicken to a torture device. It is. Oh, oh okay. Let's see what you did there. That's a big help. Ready to fire. Just missing my target. No, that, 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 that's the door. Seems like a good target. Alright. Do, 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 do. Please don't hit Critter in the head with cannonball. That'd, that'd be kind of not nice. Hey, buddy! We gotta light your freaking <laughs> fire again. Nope. Hello? <laughs> not happening. <laughs> Critter, out of the way! Oh, I think I know it. I see what you did there. I see what you did there, game. I go. Still. Nope, nope. Stop that. You. This. I wouldn't even attempt this were it not for the stupidity of the troll. Firm. Nope. Didn't work yet, huh? I hope the rubber chicken will hold. Did okay the first time. Could work. All right. Thank you, game, for making it relatively obvious. I appreciate holding my hand. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> All right. Bagok, bagok. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> you um critter. Hello. Boom! Headshot. Direct hit. That's enough to knock out a troll for ages. Probably kill Help him, to me, be will you? Let's push him into that cell there. Oh. Good luck with that. Jeez. That's it. That <coughs> looks really uncomfortable. Come on, Critter. Onwards. Something seems to be happening in the wall, but it doesn't really appear to be much help to us. That's the skeleton of a... Uh, oh. I fear my own immortality has led to a deficiency in anatomical general knowledge. 
but I assume it's a human. Mm, let's say it was something like a halfling or a, a little human. Okay. This shaft must lead to the outside somewhere, oh, but it's too narrow and too high to use for climbing out. You better think of something to get us out of here. Can you fetch help? So, just fly over. Mm, air defences, naturally. But did you see the artefact in the temple? Wonderful and yet terrible. That's right. Do you understand now why we simply can't steer clear of this? Just imagine this artefact in the orc's hands, or in the humans, or, or in one of the other primitive species. Hey. Yep. Faster than you can say end of the world. I'll just carry on taking care of our rescue then, alone. Hey, you have Critter. Be nice to Critter. A strange metal box. A smaller box is hanging inside it. Bizarre. The doctor would know what to do. If we find a doctor, I'm going to There laugh. are many symbols and short texts on the walls. I can't read them. Hmm. Strange pictures have been glued to the sides. And there's a large bit of paper with some text. Oh, this doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. There's something lying in the cells. It's snoring. Hello? Hello? Huh, nothing. And he slept through the whole cheap, cheap and critter hullabaloo, too. <laughs> I wonder if it's our uh, good doctor. Hey! Our professor. Ow! What? That sounds like a... You. Hey! But what are you doing? The artifact, is it safe? MacGuffin, you're still alive. You didn't appear to be very resilient during the interrogations. The book! The artifact! What's happened to it? I fetched the book from your cellar, but I haven't met the Archmage yet. And... and then? I made sure the artifact was taken to safety with two friends. Ah, excellent! So it really was in the temple? Yes, it was. So? The Archmage has got the artifact, and you're now here to free me? Not quite. We were surprised by Monkus. My friends were able to escape with the artifact, but I was captured. Then... then it's still not safe? Perhaps not. This is a catastrophe. We've got to get out of here and take the artifact to the Archmage. You don't say. Aren't you the tactical genius, then? Oh my god, that's a lot of text. Why are you always locked up every time we meet? Can't you free yourself once in a while? Mortroga magically sealed the lock herself. You can't open it with a toothpick. So you just sit in your cell and let me do all the work. Get me out of here and I can assist you. At least with moral support. So the lock's been magically sealed, but it should still be possible to open. Yes, of course, but you need the wand that sealed it for that. Mortroga's wand? I'm afraid so, yes. Ah. <sighs> Then let's just leave that lock as it is and concentrate on the bars. Good luck. Those are iron bars as thick as trolls' thumbs. What did you tell Mortroga and her little devil? I didn't need to tell them much. They knew about the artifact. I... I told them about the book. But I was certain that you'd got that to safety long ago. And nothing else? And... I told them about the ring. You told them about Wilbur! You really set her on the trail of a little gnome! I had no choice, but he had many hours head start. And you said yourself that he made it to the Archmage. And he's displayed much greater courage than you. He wasn't tortured. My companions Wilbur and Nate got out via a portal. Can one find out where that portal led them? A portal? Hmm. That kind of thing is rare. Only particularly powerful mages can open a portal. Wilbur has an amulet. The portal opened when it landed on the floor. Incredible. There are only two amulets that could accomplish something like that. One of them belonged to the powerful dark mage Balthazar. But that was presumed missing. 
Just like it's even more powerful brother the Talarion. It was Balthazar's amulet. Do you have any idea where it might have taken them? Hmm. I cannot answer that, but the Archmage would know. That's one more reason to talk with him soon. That red box over there, what use might it have? I was wondering about that myself. It looks very interesting. Purely on a scientific level, of course. It seems rather out of place. Ortroga's kingdom is large. Many are bound to her by allegiance. Or perhaps she bagged it on one of her raids. Who knows? I have to go. There are bound to be other caged gremlins that need to be released. Very funny. I thought it was somewhat humorous. Okay. The troll is still out cold. I hope that we'll be far, far away when he comes round again. Those iron bars are strong, but a livid troll is stronger. That's probably a very valid point. Let's pull this torch, then let's pull that torch. Or how about we pull them together? Nothing. Oh, dude, you can't reach that. Oh, oh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Can we go down into the town? Well, let's hold off on that just in case we can. A heavy looking smithy's hammer. I don't. You try and take it? Oh, wow. Cool. Hmm. It's lucky that Fido isn't at home right now. Two headed burning core hounds are a bit of a pain. Even if this one seems to be quite small. Hmm, the weapon on the banner could belong to one of the Archwitch's colonies. It's definitely not from this area. Hmm, the. Just like everything here, the vase is probably bounty. It's not beautiful and rather tasteless. Just like. Huh, just one guard up here. That's strange. On the other hand, Mortroga can take care of herself. Lucky the Lucky the guard's got his back to the staircase, but I still won't be able to reach it without being noticed. Locked tight. Some documents, but I can't get at them without the guard seeing. Some document. Okay, cool. So we're done up here, it looks like. Plus to help isolate out some of the stuff. Under the town, I guess now. We do have a hammer, though, which might be useful for doing some things up there. I, I have no idea how this all worked out, but it'll work. <laughs> the road leads down into the town. It's no good as an escape. They wouldn't hesitate for one second before... The road leads, but they wouldn't so. Okay, at least we can fast teleport over this way. Can I can forget about that one. The bars are made of solid iron. Well, that was worth a try. Can we hammer... Smash the bars. Smash the cheap cheap. <laughs> Something seems to be happening. Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. So he needs to go in the vase, I'm assuming. There are many sim. Hmm. Still nothing there. <coughs> Wave it, little sleeping man. <laughs> uh, you know what? 
Ivo. Give him. Okay, can't give him the torch. Huh? Okay, well, um. Yeah, so I think that's probably a good place to stop off. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Uh, we're looks like we're nearing the end, hopefully, and uh, we'll get a little uh, closure, if you will. As always, everyone, thank you very much, and have a good day.